How to Read a Meter, Part Two, with Mister A S Readington. Why, yes, that's me again, A S Readington, waving my arms in the air. I don't know why I do that, but whenever I hear my name, I do. Well, let's get back to it, well, darling. Darling, I'm working. What are you doing here? This is my wife. Um, yes, yes, of course I'll be home for dinner, darling. Of course I'll be home now. Run along. I, I don't know what to do. I'm just trying to do my job. Can't I be left in peace? Well, here we go with another practice meter reading. Off you go. Twenty seconds. Well, let's see how you did, shall we? The far right is between the five and the six, so it's a five. Then between the one and the two, so it's a one. Between the four and the five, it's a four. Between the zero and the nine, nine is the lower number. And then finally, between the five and the six, it's a five. Did you get it? So then, our keys to success, as you recall, are to read the meter from right to left and round down to the lower number. Sound, Kitty. Giddy, what are you doing here? Kitty, this isn't the place for you. Scat, cat, get out! Well, I'm so sorry about the interruption. Back to business then. Now, let's review. When a meter reading is obtained in the field, and that's whether it's a, an actual meter reader entering the reading into his handheld itron, whether it's a stationary transformer in the neighborhood, or it's a mobile transponder driving through the neighborhood, All of those readings are stored in the meter reading acquisition system and wait for CRS to call upon it to get the meter reading to generate an invoice. In fact, the only readings that aren't stored in MRAS are readings entered by you. Yes, you. As you know, customers in Colorado and Texas can call in their final meter reading. You'll enter those. And also, you know, sometimes the reading isn't exactly right, and we have to do something called a cancel and rebill. Those are readings that you enter into CRS that are not stored in MRAS. However CRS gets the reading, when it's time, it generates a bill. Uh, oh, oh, this is my neighbor, William Cogsworth. Uh, no, Bill, I wasn't talking about you. No, it's all right. Don't worry. I'll meet you at the club later. We'll play pinochle. Run off now. Do you hear me? Run off. I'll meet you at the club later. So back to it. Once CRS gets that reading, it generates an invoice. It takes the consumption and multiplies it times the rate, adds the line items and so on, and then the customer has time to pay their bill with a billing due date. That all sounds right, doesn't it? One last practice go. This one's tricky. Take your time. This one is the trickiest one in the lot. How did you do? Let's take a look. So from right to left, we have nine, nine, eight, one, and finally six. The key to this one is looking to the dial on the right. How did you do? Did you get it? You did! I'm so happy for you. Yes, very well done. Well, I must go now. I need to walk my cat, play pinochle with my neighbor, and have dinner with my wife. Until next time, this has been A.S. Readington, How to Read a Meter, bidding you ta-ta. This has been How to Read a Meter with Mr. A.S. Readington. <coughs> Created using Powtoon.